Today we're going to be cooking one of my favorite recipes that I always order in Chinese or Chinese American restaurants, sweet and sour pork. And we're going to be using my grandmother, Nora Daza's recipe with her cookbook. Not only that, I have a special guest. Let's welcome my mother, Gloria Diaz. Hi, sweetie. Okay. So, you know what we're cooking, right? Uh, sweet and sour pork. Yes. So, what did I love to eat when I was growing up? All the pasta dishes. Okay? And she liked vongole. Yes. Your vongole for me is like one of the best, if not the best. And the black pussy. Yes. And then sinigang, of course. Sinigang she is like sinigang. a staple. Every, I think three days we have sinigang. <laughs> of course, she also liked adobo. You're talking about me, right? Yes. Okay. Well, did you learn anything from Lola Nora when it comes to cooking? Well, before I didn't know even how to make rice. I think by experimenting and of course following her cookbook. Yeah. That's the parang Bible of everyone. Yeah, that's true. So today we're going to be using her cookbook and also the Maya products. We're going to use pork tenderloin. Kanina you were telling me cut against the grain. You know, I never know when people say that. I'm like, I don't know what the grain is. Cut against the grain para it's malambot. And I'm going to use two egg whites because this is a big piece of pork and th these are kind of small eggs. I'm very proud of my egg white skills. Okay, watch. I learned this from Mrs. Nunez in Assumption. She will be very proud of me. But it's important that the eggs are fresh. Do you know that? So that they can separate properly. Otherwise, oh, really? the, the orange part goes in. Oh, okay. That's a good tip. And you know what? If an eggshell falls, you can't pick it up with your hand. I did not know this. I learned this recently in life. You can't like take out the eggshell. You need to use the egg oh, shell again. Is that so? Yeah, like so if something falls, you just pick it up like that. Wow. It's such okay. a good life hack for all the mommies out there. Do you know, Belle, the most important part in cooking sweet and sour pork is the marinade. And the marinade must always have this Maya corn starch. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Because it will seal the juice of all the pork inside and to make sure when you bite it, in, it stays juicy. Two tablespoons of Maya corn starch with the two egg whites. Oh my gosh, mom, we've been Sorry. cooked together in so long. Yes, because she always assigned me to do it. Okay. So I like eating the food you prepare, but this is kind of fun. Okay, now mix it. Of course, after washing your hands. After that, we put it in the fridge, obviously. Yeah. So here is the pork marinade with Maya cornstarch and the egg white. We don't add salt and pepper yet. We're gonna put that in the sauce later. Let's put this in the fridge. So now we're gonna do the sweet and sour pork sauce, which is, which is basically what makes the dish. Yummy. The most important. Yeah. And while we're doing it, I wanted to ask you, what did you learn from Lola Nora when it came to cooking in the kitchen? Oh, many, many, many things. I thought I knew how to cook until I got to talk to her several times. First, she was a perfectionist. Yeah. If she had a certain ingredient that she think was the best, she thought that it was the best, yeah. only that would do. Otherwise, cancel muna ang okay. cooking. So. And she always kind of measured everything, I remember that. Everything, everything. Okay, so now we're just gonna put the oil into the pan that's already heated. One thing I did learn from Lola Nora is in her cookbook, she always says to fry the ketchup. And I'm like, why do you need to do that? Because according to her, I think it intensifies the flavor. Yeah. And then here it says, add the soy sauce, water, sugar in a small bowl. Then you kind of mix it. My gosh, our viewers are going to be like, what the heck is that? Here. Now, try to dissolve it as well. Make sure that your ketchup doesn't burn. Oh yeah. And That's slowly good. add it. Okay, so now we've added all the ingredients here for the base of the sauce. We're gonna wait for that to simmer. People are asking if we've ever cooked together. No, you always sat in the dinner table while I was cooking and rushing me, I think. Yeah, so this Where's is the, the first food? Time. Where's the food? This I think this is, is the first, first time we've ever cooked, cooked together. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now that it's simmering, the vinegar goes in and we are going to reduce that. Yes. Yeah. And next, carrots, right? Yes. Yes, medyo matagal How yan. do you like your carrots in a sweet and sour pork? Crunchy or kind of soggy? No, cooked. I like soggy also. Yeah, cooked. Actually, something you didn't know is Balti's favorite dish is the Maya hotcake mix. 
no matter where we travel, we always have to bring like five to ten packs because you won't touch anything else. And I feel like I grew up with Maya, like I ate the champorado. What else? The hot cake mix. Yes. And what's your favorite Maya? Brownies. <laughs> that was such a like dramatic delivery. <laughs> Brownies. Yes. And it is eat. really the best. Okay, now that the carrots are done, it's kind of soft. Yeah. We're gonna put in the onions. Yeah. Right? Okay. And the bell peppers. Growing up I hated bell peppers, but now I have a newfound love for it. The pineapple. Looks I actually yummy. do love all the colors together. Once everything's in, we're going to thicken the sauce with a cornstarch slurry, of course, using the Maya cornstarch. Now we need to dissolve the Maya cornstarch carefully. Make sure it's all, all dissolved and slowly put it in the simmering sauce. Habang hinahalo. Then this is going to thicken it and get you that really nice texture that yes. you want. For sweet and sour. Wait, I want to talk about my kids because this is the first time my mom met Valentine because we were obviously stuck in Hong Kong and also France. Do you think he looks like you? Mm, yeah, you say that. When I was a baby, I looked like that. Super cute, uh, right? But I think oh, as, uh, the more I see him, the more he looks a little bit foreign. He looks more a little bit like Asian, but the basic face, you know, puffy face a little bit, <laughs> puffy mouth, puffy nose, that's me. He is very, yeah, he, he really does look like you. I'm gonna show them what your baby picture looks like. Okay, so right now it looks like a soup, so that's not what we want. We not want yet. the consistency to be yeah. kind of sticky and thicker. It's getting thicker. In Tagalog, malapon. Tama. You were saying a while ago that we can also add, what was it? Mini corn. Okay. Okay, I'll turn it off. And now we're going to get the pork. Pork. Okay. I'm going to spread this here. Okay, and the pork came from the fridge. And that's my one of my number one rules is just not to keep food out waiting. Always have it sanitary and in the fridge. Okay, you have to coat it well, shake it. Question. We need to do cornstarch. Okay, you that know was why? my question. You read my mind. Because it gets it crunchier and lighter. So it's important to use cornstarch and not flour for this recipe. Yes. Okay, now how do I know that the oil is ready? We're going to take a wooden spoon and you can see it bubbling there. So the oil is hot enough. Something I learned today, I'm just pretending I knew it. Okay, put one at a time, slowly away from you there. Between my both sides, my mom's side, they're all the ones who eat the food. My dad's side, they're all the ones who cook the food, right? Yes, the your, dad, your dad cannot cook that well, but he knows. Why are you bashing him? He can't even defend himself. He, the, he knows when the food's not good. <laughs> yeah, he has really good taste buds. Yeah. And again, we can use this with fish also. Yes, even galunggong. When you got make Yes, that's something I always ate as a kid. Yes. Sweet and sour galunggong. That was my favorite with mainit na kanin. So signs that it's already cooked. What's your answer? By look, huh? golden brown. Okay, golden brown. If you hear and listen to the oil, it's kind of whispers and the bubbles are smaller. Correct. And lastly, what? It floats. And yes. now we're gonna get the sauce, put it here over the fire. So now we're gonna add the crispy pork. Pork. With the sauce. With the sauce. Wow, yummy. You know what I love about sweet and sour pork is that even if there's so much sauce, it still stays crispy. Yes. Right? This is best. Oh, best. Yeah. We're really a great duo. <laughs> <laughs> is it cooked perfectly? Yes. Okay. One. The best. What? Mmm. You like it? Mmm. Okay, so good. Get one crunchy. With, with pineapple mm. and some onion. Mmm, it really coated it so well. Mm. Mm. I love that it stayed crispy, but the sauce is so like bursting in flavors. Pero kulang. Why? Kulang ng rice. I know. Can we get some rice here, please? <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yummy. It's really good. So if you guys are looking to cook a sweet and sour pork dish, try this one from my grandmother's cookbook. It's a tried and tested recipe. You know that's over 60 years. Wow. Six decades. Wow. The best when I seller. was born. No, no. Give or take. <laughs>
<laughs> and of course, it's presented by Maya. Thank you so much, Maya, for all the delicious products. We love it. And thanks, Mom, for guesting for free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take this home. <laughs>